Hello again. This is our third lesson on transformations on a graph. So we're going to talk a bit about reflections. So you'll know the word reflection kind of from sitting in a mirror or looking at a mirror. Um, you see your reflection in the glass. Um, similar with uh, reflections on a graph. Okay, we've just got a few keywords. Uh, well, yeah, reflection is like you know, e equal distance away from you, but the exact same thing, okay? Um, and usually we think of it in a mirror. Um, the y-axis, remember the y-axis goes straight up and down on a graph, and the x-axis goes straight across on a graph, okay? So if you have no problems with those keywords, then this will be easy. Uh, here's an example. I'm going to work through it with you, and we are going to reflect this shape in the y-axis to start. Okay, well, I'm going to try and write this, but I don't know if that's a good idea. So we're going to reflect the green shape on the y-axis. Okay, so here's the y-axis. This is our like reflection line here. Okay, it's kind of like our mirror, but the shape doesn't go on this side of the mirror. It goes exactly how far away it is. Um, so the point R is actually going to be over here. Okay, two squares away from the mirror and immediately across from uh, where it would have been on the other side of the mirror. So we'll actually call this one R uh, prime. Okay. And then we have S, which is four squares away, but it's a little higher than R, so we have to keep it in line here. One, two, three, four squares. Okay. And T is two, four, six, seven squares away. So we have to count seven, two, four, six, seven. Okay. And then Q is... Uh, it's like right below S, kind of the same distance away. So it's over here. So this is R primed. Okay, and this is S. Ooh, it's really hard to draw an S with this uh, computer thing. And this is Q. And then we connect them all up. So on BuzzMath, you're going to have to draw these kind of shapes. Um, it's a little bit easier on there because all of the, the points click back and forth. Okay, so that's a reflection in the y-axis. Okay, we used the y-axis as our mirror line, and we reflected the shape over here. Okay, if we were to do a reflection in the x-axis, okay, I don't know why I'm writing this is a waste of time, but it's kind of interesting to try. And you can see how messy my writing is using the Mac head. Um, so in the x-axis, here is going to be here is my mirror line, and I have to do the same thing. I have to make sure the distance from here to the mirror line is the same, but on the other side. So there would be s primed. Okay, I'll go quickly. R is going to be three squares away, so we have to do one, two, three. Uh, Q is going to be one, two, three, four, five squares away. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's up here. And T is same, three squares away, but straight up in line here. Okay, and we connect them. Like that. So that's the version of the reflection in the x axis uh, for this green shape. Okay, so good luck with the buzz math questions, and I'm pretty sure there's extension for this one. So if you are finding it easy, then do two because there's no reason why you shouldn't push yourself uh, that much harder. Okay, good luck, guys, and remember if you have questions, you can ask me.